Hello, I'm Edge Rissi, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the To Give Victory DLC as the Australian People's Republic. We've beaten Japan, but they still have a ridiculous navy, and that problem is going to haunt us. We are not able to really move the troops around as effectively as we like. Every time we move our troops around, they take a massive chunk out of us. But for now, we're in a pretty good state. We just have to worry about that ridiculous navy. Um, in terms of what we're going to do about it, we're going to have to start thinking about a proper uh, defense against that. I would also like to start building naval bombers for the very reason that it's a good way of defending against them. Just constantly have some naval bombers out, and every time they come to attack us, we can hopefully take some out of them. Naval bombers aren't massively effective in the game. It's a bit disappointing. I'd honestly like it if they were like slightly better, but they're okay, I guess. Um, I don't really have enough points to do that. We'll just start building naval bombers. And I would like to build quite a few of them. So let's uh, push them to the limit. Do, 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 do. Oh, we've got a free naval... Uh, we don't have a free military factory. You're lying to me. Stop lying to me, game. There we go. It's because the ones are damaged and I'm not paying attention to them. Oh, we've got enough uh, political power. I should probably buy some stuff. Um... Naval base construction speed plus 15. You know what? That is worth it. We'll grab the quality master general. What else? Uh, research and production aircraft designer. Tempting. Chief of Air Force. That is the wrong symbol. You should have an air symbol. Hmm. What I'll go for is probably research on production. Navy time minus 10%. Minus 10%, minus 10%, but we get a choice between uh, carrier deck size, max range increase, but armor goes down, cap ship max range, screen max range, sub max range. This is basically the range increase, Pacific Fleet Designer. This is the Escort Fleet Design. We get screen gets max range plus 30, sub detection plus 10, max speed plus 10, production cost goes up. Both of these are very, very tempting. Uh, really tempting, like this means I can quickly get into combat and lock the enemy down. This would also be helpful to just increase our range in general. Because that max speed is really helpful. And the sub-detection? Japanese have a lot of subs. I'm going to go for the Pacific Fleet, though, just because... Uh, it just that's just tends to be how I roll, and we're gonna need to be able to have something with a, a big naval uh, presence to be able to take out the Japanese. The deck, if I can get the you know infrastructure on side to build carriers and to get some uh, naval fighters and stuff out there, that would be very helpful. Occupied territory. We're gonna see about increasing the uh, occupation on the Japanese homeland because I want those factories operating as well as possible. It's a lot of political power. But I have a lot of political power kicking around, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, military staff. Navy. Naval reformer. Or, ooh, capital ship attack and armor. Screen attack and defense. Yeah, let's go for that. Decisive battle. Suddenly, insufficient resources. What do we do to deserve that? Ah, I know what we did to deserve that. Because we've increased factory output. We probably need more stuff, right? We've got free dockyards. Oh, it's beautiful. Tell me all about my free dockyards. Near yeah, not quite enough. It's a start. I'm just going to put a lot of the damaged ones there. Once they're repaired, we'll be a lot happier. Um, what about... You. Oh, actually. Lot spare. Okay, in which case, I probably want to increase the amount of light tanks we're doing for now. Carry naval bomber. If we're going to have ourselves a carrier, that'd be tempting. But I will hold off for now. Um, for now, though, light tanks. Probably going to be very... Ooh, wow, I've got lots there. I said that one's still damaged. Um, get a little bit more support equipment going as well. Because we're probably going to want light tanks with most people. In fact, if we're going to have mechanized, getting our light tanks out and getting quite a few of them will very much help us. It'll be very beneficial. So I'm going to go to something like that. 
still telling us, like, look at all these factories you're not using. Yeah, I'm not using them because they're all broken. We'll actually put your fighters away now. The fighters up here aren't doing anything, and there's a risk they'll have accidents while they're flying. So, get rid of you. I'd love to see who these battles are between. It's the Allies and Japan, most likely. But, oh, hello. You're trying to land? No. Not allowed. How dare you. How dare you, sir. Uh, right, working on the Bren Carrier. Piercing plus 100. Mmm, pretty tasty. I feel we have to grab the MPs at some point. And it'd be very useful to grab them now, considering we started uh, being pretty harsh on Japan. Resistance? Oh, dear God. I didn't mean to have the resistance that high. Bloody heck. How many do you want to defend that? 86. They want 86 divisions. <laughs> no. Not yet. I will actually start making more divisions because of that. I would very much like this to be producing stuff. I need that production. But for now, yeah, we are so lowering that back to what it was. In fact, we'll lower it to just gentle, and we'll see how that affects it. Okay. Fifty-eight. Yeah. It's a little better, but we'll actually go all the way back to here. Mm. Okay, let's produce some more cavalry divisions. The MPs will certainly help. But for now... Uh, we've got what? 45, we need basically another 40. There we go. And then attrition, plus a bit of expansion. We'll go with a 48, just because it's a nice, uh, nice number. And pff, we have the equipment for it. It's a bit of a dunt in our uh, infantry equipment, actually. We're down to 2.2. Yeah, still trying to push on land. Hmm, many places. Hopefully we can hold them off. Hmm. Right. In the meantime, I'd love to re retaliate up here. I really would. But I don't think it's... I think it's just too risky. That said, I've never been a clever lad. Oh, why are you green? Did I accidentally, like, place you down without fully training you or something? Must have done. We'll train you up for that last bit. Bren Carrier. Absolutely brilliant. Just what I wanted. Um, we could go for the next Bren Carrier. Yeah, I think we will. Um, and I would like to start producing those, like... Ooh, hello, can you deploy? You can deploy at 10%? Absolutely brilliant. That's just what I wanted. This is gonna be fun. Ooh, hello. Yeah, let's not allow that. Okay, so you're going to all run into the sea. Hopefully, don't get yourself killed. Uh, you're practicing, and then hopefully we're going to get you to attack up there. Oh, yeah, they've uh, grabbed a unit over there. We could probably defend against this. Convoy escort. Come on. Come on. We scared them off. I'll take it. And then we'll quickly just jump back into base. There's no way we're going to be able to really hold on long term now. Oh, the tanks are still... Uh, unless it's because we altered the units. That's why they lost some experience. The tanks are pretty harshly off, though. I don't think I'm actually going to wait any longer. 
Uh, with the Japanese kind of busy right now, I think it's best if we move them. If we're going to do this counterattack, we need to do it now. Now, we've got a couple of choices, and I think this is the best choice. Oh! Two unused convoys. We got pretty close there. Actually, yeah, that's because some of them can't be transported. Uh-oh. One of our units is going to get caught. Yeah, that's an infantry unit down. Hopefully the other nine can get there. Sorry, infantry. Unless... Convoy, Scott? Let's see if we can do this. I don't think they'll get there in time, but it's worth a try. Come on. Come on. Yeah! That's the spirit. I don't know where the Japanese Navy are at the moment, and now I've said that, they're probably going to jump up and murder me. But worth a try. Oh, no. They... Oh, oh. Actually, yeah, we've still got the... I thought that was there for a moment. The ability to land is still in our favor right now. And we will try and transport the rest of our fleet over. Since we have a gap right now. Are you not going to transport over? We never. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I was like, we have enough uh, convoys. Right, how are the. Uh... Ooh, hello. Yeah, military units are trying to get. Oh, yeah, they've been catching a few of them. Oh, dear God. They've. Yeah. I could go up against these destroyers. Like, we could scare them off. We've only got the one heavy cruiser, though, that could really do it. But. Let's try it. Let's bring that heavy. Uh, that. Uh, what was it? Cruiser escort out, and let's see what happens. And we'll also do these two areas as well. Ooh, why is this red? Enemy ships present. Ah, it's telling me how many enemy ships are present, saying we're outnumbered. Okay. Did lose one there. We have been losing quite a few as they march across, but that's because I stopped paying attention as much as I should have. Uh, what we'll do now is, is if we grab the nuclear, or we grab something like the Sentinel Tank Project. The only gun's also going to be important. There's a new gun coming soon. What year do we get the new gun, I wonder? It is this year. We should have grabbed it. So, yeah, let's grab the uh, research for the new gun. Yeah, they took us out. Oh, God, here they go. No, back away time, back away. Emergency. Abort. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, we just lost the MP. It's fine. We're actually getting away right now. They're not quick enough to catch us. Greece joined the Allies. Italy, they were on Greece. I've got a weird sense of deja vu. Didn't that already happen? Or am I just imagining things? I think it must be imagining things. I swear that Greece was a declared war on. Maybe it was Germany. I, was like, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Ooh. We could... Yeah, we could take you out. Convoy Scott. Let's get quickly up here. India National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. Ooh. Indians have rejected the more radical policies advocated by Gandhi, who's argued for a total break from Britain. Okay, so no real change there. Okay, they are trying to engage. Oh, I think we have to pull away from this one. They have more forces than us. They don't have a heavy cruiser, but they have so many light cruisers that it makes it kind of a moot point. Um... We're going to take the loss.
Yes, I would like you to fall back. Hi, hi, can you fall back for me? There we go. They had to pull out of the fight, that's why it was a bit of a delay there. Okay, um, most of the MPs are now in position. Yeah, there's the main Japanese Navy with its uh, ridiculous number of uh, carriers. Right. You're still moving into position. I thought you'd be in position already. I guess maybe this is like jungle, so it's going to... No, it's mountains. So it's going to slow you down a little bit. But when you're in position, feel free to enact... Uh, I don't know. What, what plan are we going to call this? Plan Bravo or whatever. Uh... Ooh, that attrition's not good. But, you know, feel free to enact the plan. Did they just try and attack us from the sea? Hmm, okay. Uh, right, so right now we should be looking at... Oh, there is still some resistance. Why is that? Tell me about it. Why? Why? 49 needed? Okay. Let's... We've got plenty of that. Let's manage this and let's get it, put it up to harsh on Japan. That's going to cost us a little bit of political power. And you're going to say that you need 72 divisions. You've got enough. That should be fine. And now we've like, oh, three dockyards, three military factories, three everything. Now we should check the... Dockyards. We're good. Right. Once you're in position, we'll uh, double team this section. Come on. There we go. A lot of motorized. The Japanese really do like the motorized, but without their uh, ability to really control that that much. Oh, that's what I've got to do. Production. I'm meant to be producing. Um, the Bren carrier. How much does that need in the way of like work? Twelve. Oh, that's quite expensive. Uh, totally worth it though. We definitely need a lot of Bren carriers. In fact, I'm gonna just max it out straight away. Uh, actually, no, because I'm going to be flipping that to the top. If I flip that to the top, it'll take away from some of the other things we've got. Um, right, so we'll reduce you. Motorized, we're okay, like, a little bit less for now. Um, infantry equipment, probably okay with a little bit less for now. I want to focus on getting as many of these mechanized as possible. We'll fix up the motorized. Insufficient resources. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more in the way of rubber and stuff. Whoops. Got a lot of surplus on steel. Needed. We need more rubber still. Uh, oil. Going to need more of that. We're really going to probably have to start producing our own rubber soon. Um, but we're good. Not going for that until we've completed the fun, the own, go, own, own gun research. Um, what do we want? Support companies. Oh, we've got massive bonuses to logistics company, don't we? In fact, this is going to take us one day to research. 85 cent bonus. Bam! That is how you do it. Next one, we've got a 10 cent bonus too. Uh, do, 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 do. Won't be helpful. Uh, field hospital, we definitely need that. Helps the manpower situation. Now we have that, we'll also roll it out to our divisions. So infantry divisions, definitely want to get a logistic company going. Um, probably most people, including the armor divisions, want that. And now you can see we are having some support equipment issues. Will that fix itself? Yes. Okay, how much support equipment we got left? 
3.6k. Uh, well, that's enough. It's respectable. Ooh, hello. Have we got, like, Japanese forces over here? We do. I don't know Japanese, sorry. Uh, duh, obviously. But Italian forces is what I meant. Looks, look at that, though, by the way. Look at that. Their equipment, so low. So incredibly low. 21%. 27. Ideally, I want to, like, surround them and kill them. Not allow them to fall back, but I don't think it's going to be an option for us. Just head straight down to that port there. It's like they're heading to this port. Ideally, I want to catch them from doing that. Oh, actually, let them let them fall back to there. Let them fall back to there. We need to keep them in place. Don't want you to fall back. Don't attack that. Don't defend that port. Oh, oh, they're falling back to the port. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. Come on, we can do this. How much longer will it take? It's gonna take a while. Oh, 13 days. Oh, damn. Okay, in which case at this point. Oh, we did actually capture it. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, don't attack. Don't attack. Stay there. We'll try and keep this momentum up. As soon as one of you gets to here, though, pull around and see if you can grab the port up there at Lay. I'd ideally want to keep some of the units on this island so that I can then just crush them, because there's no way I'm going to be able to really take the Japanese units out without going to sea against them. Oh, we've been losing a lot of MP units in the sea here. Lost four recently. Gonna lose another one if we don't go up against this light cruiser, and it's too late. I think they'd be dead by the time we launched our fleet, so another one is going to bite the dust, unfortunately for us. However, we are doing pretty well in terms of our uh, factory output, in terms of our uh, dockyard output. We're in a pretty good position right now. I think we maybe want to mainline some dockyards. And that way we can start producing a navy that's a bit better. We should also really start working out how to uh, improve the quality of our own navy. Like actually start researching new ships, etc. To fight the Japanese with. Because right now, technology's not there. And no, I'm not going to spend my money on upgrades. Because I want to make sure we've got the new stuff. And then we can get the upgrades. That way we actually have decent ships that are decent. Rather than upgrading the terrible ships that will die quickly. For now though, I've been Andrew Elysium. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Please consider subscribing. The Soviet front is absolutely dreadful. But at least Sevastopol is still held. At least um, Kiev and what was this Minsk? Minsk, yeah. So they're not properly into proper Russia. They're still fighting in what is effectively Lithuania, uh, etc. For now, I've been Andrew Lysium. If you like, like you know the jazz. Also, do comment down below. Let me know what you feel in regard to the Japanese. They're very much a problem right now, but mostly in a way that they can't really affect us too badly. It's mostly that they're picking up our manpower here and there. Their navy is incredibly annoying, but not really going to be able to pose too much of a threat to us. Their land forces just can't really compete. And I say that as Australia. And that seems weird. I've been Andrew Lysium. Until next time, stay shiny.